guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be back into some more stone block. But this is just not normal stone block. No, 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 no. This is stone block two. So right off the bat, you may be asking me, what's different from stone block one and stone block two? Well, I have had the chance to actually play through pretty much this entire pack and beat it through its entirety almost on the on my live stream over at twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect um, and you can find that link down in the description below if you guys have not already checked me out there um, I do some awesome awesome streaming stuff there uh, but anyways I have literally played through most of it uh, it was really fun to come back into stone block again um, as you guys I'm sure have played this pack over and over again or if you haven't you've at least enjoyed your first time playing through it um, this pack is awesome. And I say it's awesome because it's better than the stone block original because some things that I personally myself wanted changed have been changed, have been fixed. The questing system have been revised. The quest mod itself has been revised. Oh, it's so good. And, uh, all this was done. You may see it says FTB presents stone block two. Um, that's because... Uh, the pack de the developer, Sunseeker, uh, actually was in collaboration with FTB to get this pack done. Uh, so basically utilizing FTB's resources and uh, enabling uh, some custom mods and stuff like that to be made for this pack. So some really cool stuff was, was done. Um, and yeah, some things have changed. We'll get through those eventually. Uh, I want to say just right off the bat, the quest book itself has been changed. Look at this. Random reward. Remember before you'd get your crate, now you get a random reward. We can go ahead and gla grab that. When you click it, it automatically gives you that random reward. Same as those chests that you would get from Stone Block 1. Really awesome there. I absolutely love it. So let's see. We got another one right here. I hope we get some good rewards here. We're going to need 12 cobblestone. 12 cobblestone in total. And you guys know how this goes. We have to mine out a bunch of, of stone here. I'm going to try my best to keep this as um, symmetrical as possible because I know later on down the road, it really makes a difference it, uh, in your, like, your cleanup efforts. Like once you actually get some of your uh, resources and stuff going, your cleanup efforts really become easier if you are, if you kept this thing symmetrical at some, some point, because this is also your home. This is the way you get back if you ever need to get back or anything like that. So it's perfect. But anyways, um, some of the bosses have changed. The the, the in-game bosses are absolutely hilarious and they are really well done. Aichun has put his work in and has made a uh, a mod that adds a a, dr or a a dragon chicken or an in-dragon chicken and also a chaos chicken that replaces the uh, the in-dragon and the, the uh, chaos dragon or chaos guardian, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that is a few things that have been changed. Some other things, of course, is uh, some of the mods have changed. There are some mod changes that definitely took place. We have some mods that were removed and some mods that were added. You definitely have to check um, check to see, you know, kind of look through the mod list and see if you notice any. One that everybody will probably not kind of like, but it is very, very um, good for servers to not have uh, our uh, refined storage in the pack. Uh, refined storage was something that was an issue, so... As you can see, refined storage is not in here. And I'm not going to lie. Refined storage is a good mod. But Applied Energistics is just as good. And it's more server friendly and more world friendly. Because um, later on, if I mean, if you have a crazy setup with refined storage, it can get pretty laggy. And uh, you'll notice TPS issues uh, even in your single player world, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, that was removed uh, mostly for those kind of issues, um, server related and uh, just performance re performance related issues. But anyways, like I said, we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to get this mostly cleared out here and uh, then we're going to jump in. This is probably not going to be that long of a series. I just want to point that out right away, mainly because I know exactly what to kind of do. Um, so if you want to follow along, man. This is going to be the best let's play to follow along. There's also going to be some things that I really want to try and experiment with that I'm super excited to do. So look at that. There's 12 right there. 
We didn't have to mine it out. We could have made a pick. That's probably one of the easier ways to do it. All right, we got some epic bacon. We got some food to eat. I love how we got a garden cloche, but no power. But the garden cloche will help us out later on. Uh, let's go ahead and do a few other things. We can make a chest, a cobblestone chest. So I also want to show you guys a few other things. You notice down in the left-hand corner, there's a thing that says JEI bookmarks. This has been new. This is We'll probably see this in a lot of new mod packs that include JEI. Um, but what you can do is, while you're hovering over an item here, and you want to know how to craft it, you can pretty much hover over this and hit A while hovering over it. And that will add it over here. So now, whenever you just open up your inventory, you can have this over on the left-hand side. And bam, there's your crafting recipe right away. It doesn't get better than that, right? That's perfect. Exactly what I've always wanted. That's super easy. We can bookmark simple things that uh, we can get. And if you want to get rid of it, just hit A while over it, and bam, it's gone. Super simple. So, crafting table. That's something that everybody always gets right away. So, all we need now is to place it down. I'm going to just go ahead and do that. And we can actually make some tools here. We should be able to make a pickaxe. No, that's right, because we have to use other methods of making our tools. Um, so if we look at the chest, what was it called, a cobblestone chest? This is a custom thing called stone chest, and we need to make these stone parts, four of them, and that will make a chest for us. And it's a nice little cute chest. But it's not just a chest, you know, you can store your stuff in it. It's it's not that crazy, but what it does do is it unlocks a chance at getting more rewards. And these rewards could be really good. Look at that, an octatic capacitor. We got another one here, climbing gloves. I mean, just look at this, climbing gloves. I can now climb up here. And those are gonna be really useful later on. I don't wanna use them right now because they'll just distract from what we're working on. But this is gonna be a good place to store some of those loot, some of that loot you get. Also, you might notice, yeah, this is a pet rock. And what you can do with it is place it down right there. And you can actually tame it with some of the stonium, just like that. And now it's tamed. Later on, you can name tag it, but you can make it sit or walk around. And it will follow you um, if it's in its walking mode but I normally like to push it into a corner, kind of keep it there for a little while, and that's gonna be our little buddy for right now, right? I don't know which one is setting, we'll have to figure it out. But one of those modes is setting. Um, but anyways, we also have our book here. You can open up your, uh, your, your quest book, either with the book, by using a hotkey, like I have. I set mine to Z, or you can click this quest book up here, and that's another way you can get up there. Also, if you're having uh, issues with your hotkeys, I want to show you this. Underneath your options, you can go into controls, and there is another section down at the bottom left-hand corner, or bottom, bottom right-hand corner, sorry, uh, and you'll see iChun Utils Keybinds. Click here. This is going to open up the Keybinds Utils, or the, the, the Keybinds for the Utils, and you have things like Morphs, Google, Googly Eyes. This gives you in-depth options as well. Uh, the Mighty Ender Chicken. There's some of the, uh, the things for the Ender Chicken. That, that's the actual mod that adds the new uh, new chicken and stuff like that. And then you have keybinds here for your morph. Um, sometimes this right here will cause an issue if your, your keybinds didn't load in properly or something like that. Um, your grave key, this might be set automatically to grave. So you might want to change that, uh, which is the selector for your radial menu. Uh, but it should be set. It was, it was set automatically for me, and I didn't have to worry about it. But I know that for some people, if you're using maybe a different launcher or something like that, you might want to change it. Uh, just something to kind of look out for. But anyways, we're going to take a, a deeper step into this. We're going to need to make dirt. So we need a stone hammer to do this. Okay. So let's worry about making a stone hammer. Which I kind of already know how to make a stone hammer. So let's take, a, take this out and take our rods. Sort of like this and like this. And that'll give us a stone hammer. This stone hammer is good because we can take this cobblestone... We can turn this bad boy into dirt, and we can also ore excavate it, or vein mine. A lot of people call it vein miner. I call it ore excavator because that's the new mod that it's called. Um, and look at that. We now have dirt. 
And again, we can claim our reward here and click it. And as you can see, uh, FTB did update this, so now it will auto accept your items. It'll auto find that you have the items in your inventory and you'll be good to go. Awesome. Now we need to make a crook, a stone crook to be exact. And uh, I've always thought this was a weird, uh, kind of a strange recipe, because I think it should use the stone rods, but it uses normal cobblestone. So there we go, as you can see. And it also has EMC values. So let's go ahead and break this down. All of our lovely dirt. And we'll get a few saplings. And also we got our crook, so let's go ahead and claim that. Over here we have our wood of any kind. We no longer have that thing where you need to uh, get all the different types of saplings. That's not a thing you have to do anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do, it's going to be going to get dark real quick. I'm going to place that here. I'm going to break this. I think that actually should be allow us to pick it up. There we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this into dirt. We're going to get our first tree going. Just like that. And with that, we'll get ourselves. Some good old fashioned saplings. And what you need to do is do some twerking, as always. And what we'll do, we'll use the crook. The crook will get you some bonus saplings. And we'll also net you some good stuff here. And of course, we can use our hand to gather some wood. Good old fashioned. Now we need 16 wood to do this. So let's go ahead and make sure we have a little bit more there. I think a couple more. Shifts will get us there. No problem. The faster you do the shift key, uh, the faster this will grow. <laughs> it just, yeah, you gotta do a lot of twerking. And also we need to get string very soon as well. That's what these silkworms are gonna be great for. So we'd break this tree down. This looks like it was a little bit taller this time. There's eight. All right, what I can do with this now is we can start moving along and getting ourselves a pickaxe. Of course, we can make a cobblestone pickaxe because we can make sticks. Uh, as you can see, we're going to need to punch a little bit more. A little bit more. Not much. Need to have an empty hand, by the way, if you're having issues with that. And there we go. That'll give us another piece of cobblestone. Same over here. Perfect. Another piece of cobblestone. Bam. And that'll just make mining a little bit faster. Now, if you've got you you there is a chance that you can get other tools um, that will help you out with mining. But these are some really good ones to get. Because now, instead of getting two pebbles for your cobblestone, um, which will basically take two stone to equal one cobblestone, now you're getting one to one. Which is even better. So there we go. Now we have a bit more cobblestone, which is going to make placing all this down a little bit easier. And voila. Oh, hit the wrong key. Make sure you're hitting that grave key or the tilde key. Uh, the key that kind of looks like this. This little key. It also can look like this. Little squiggly line. Awesome. So, gravel now. Replace this. By the way, if you want to, you should be able to take your sticks and make yourself a stone wand. If you have your pickaxe ready to go, <laughs> or in my case, I don't. Also, I'm fixing to get some torches as well to make this a little bit brighter in here. We need eight of these. I'll make a furnace. One of these will make a stone wand. We'll go ahead and take our furnace. We'll put two logs in there. That'll give us enough to hopefully get a little bit extra. And there we go. Let's finish off the rest of this gravel. We'll get enough dirt. So we can kind of expand our little dirt pile right here. Now you can break this, by the way, with your hammer instead of making a pickaxe if you wanted to. That also works. So now we can get more trees in here. I recommend one tree at a time if you're going for like silkworms. But like this, if you just do the shift thing, you'll get a bunch of trees to potentially grow all at one time. 
And there we go. So there's just a few trees that grew up. We can use that. There we go. That was all of our crook, by the way. And yeah, we'll just uh, go ahead and harvest this. This should get us pretty close to 16. At least I would think so. There we go. Photosynthesis is for suckers. And we also got silkworm. So two quests right off the bat. Bam, we got some more epic bacon. RNG is not on our side this, this playthrough. And then uh, right here, silkworms. And then we need to get string as well. Uh, to get string, let's go ahead and grow up a few more trees. Just want a couple more. Also want to make another crook. If I can get over here. Let's go and make another crook. And that'll help whenever we do get the string to pop up. Try and get one of these other saplings to grow up. It's just so we have more leaves is all. Gotta love the clicking of the keyboard. I did get a new keyboard so that way uh, the clicking wasn't super loud in the videos anymore. So that was one of the nice things that I had just recently done. Just trying to make things a little bit better. And up there and there. So yeah, the more silkworms you get on this, the faster it's going to be and the faster that these are going to eventually spread. And as you can see, they all have uh, a percentage on them. And when they're fully infested, you can harvest them. And it's best to har harvest them with a crook as you get a better uh, chance of getting more. We're almost fully infested. Gotta love this. Like that one. That one right here is fully infested. Infested leaves from X and a high low ratio. Oh, we had another tree grow. Oh, that was a bummer, but... Oh, it should infest these leaves. Probably need to quit moving around. That would probably be a good thing. So that should be just enough time. And voila, we have a stack and a half. A little over a stack and a half. Oh, we also got an advanced collector as one of our rewards. And we can go ahead and claim this. We got our string. Let's get another random reward. We got in two ender tanks. You can't beat that. That's really good. All right. So we have some options to do here. We have tinkering. And we also have right here, make a sieve. And that's how we're going to get started with this. Of course, it is X and high low. Um, and that's how you're going to work and get through each and every step. So let's take a look up here. So some other quests we have. These are going to be our storage tab. Um, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like this quest book? Because I absolutely love this quest, quest book. And if you want to check it out. Um, it is made by Latvian. His name's Lat Latvian Modder. Um, you can find down here a link to his Patreon if you guys want to support him. Uh, he makes all these FTB type mods. So FTB utilities, the one that you use up here, this is all made by Latvian. Really, really cool. Um, but anyways, as you can see, we have a chicken tier for all your chickens. It's now all tiered up and uh, each one of these are linked properly. And then we have fluid cows, which looks like a giant mess. But believe me, this is actually really, really handy and kind of shows you the tier progression that you need to go through fluid cows to eventually get to that stellar alloy and that stellar alloy will get you that molten infinity. Yeah, some good stuff there. Um, and yes, Avarita is in here and it is the end game. Um, and as you can see right here, we have mystical agriculture is another resource generator, uh, draconic evolution quests. We even have, as you can see the tier through uh, project E and uh, extreme crafting for uh, Avarita. And then we have Thomcraft. Yes, Thomcraft is in here. And I did play through it, and it is really fun. Um, so, yeah, that's just some, a few things that you guys have to look forward to in Stoneblock 2. Um, and like I said, if you want to follow along, that's going to be a great thing to do. You guys will be able to follow along and enjoy the ride with me. But anyways, we have a few things we need to do first. We need to go ahead and take some of this wood, turn it into some sticks, as always, turn this into some blank patterns. And we need to get into some Tinker's Construct. So there's a part builder. We need a regular piece, stencil. We're going to need a crafting table. So for that, we'll need a little bit more wood. I think it needs to be this crafting table. Then we're going to need another one. 
which should be right. We got soul station, station or station. We need a chest. Pattern chest. Uh, what's the other one that was in here? Am I missing another one? No, that's all the ones we need right off the bat. Okay. So let's go ahead and get these all set up. I like to do this a very specific way. Part builder. The stencil table in the tool station. The part builder needs to be on one side. Stencil table needs to be on the other. And then last but not least, your tool station needs to be somewhere else. Might as well be right here. We can clear that out with our tinkers tools once we get them. So let's take some of that stencil. We'll go ahead and make a few of the uh, different ones we need. Let's go ahead and store some of these materials that we got. We don't need a lot of materials getting started with this. We just need a little bit of stone. And that's about it. Okay. Uh, stone and wood, actually. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. All right, so we need pickaxe head. We're gonna need a pickaxe tool rod. We're also gonna need a binding pattern. Um, and then we're also gonna need a shovel and an ax head. And then we're also gonna need a sword blade, a wide guard, and I think that's it. Over here on our part builder, this is where we can throw things actually in the pattern chest over here. Let's see, we can throw that in there. Just like that. On the other side, we do need one other thing to complete this multi block. And that is going to be our Tinker's crafting table. And now this is a multi block structure. As you can see, the patterns are over here. You can drop them in the pattern chest there. You can read them from over here. So we can just click to swap, hot swap these out. Very easy to do. For each of the heads, let's see, at least for this head, we need it to be stone. Shovel's gonna be stone. Axe head's gonna be stone. And the stone, the blade is gonna be stone. And I think even the guard, I wanna make stone. For everything else, wood. This, we're going to need one of that for the pickaxe. And we're also going to need one for the blade. Now I'm trying to think, what's the other ones we need? Now we need one for uh, this tool. All right, so let's go ahead and make this. So we can go ahead and make our pickaxe. There we go, stone pickaxe. We can make our uh, maddock. Which would be a shovel, that, and that. And then our blade, that's going to also require a piece of wood. So there we go. Not too hard to dive deep into Tinker's Construct. I mean, just right away. Off the bat, you can get into Tinker's Construct pretty fast. And these are basically the three tools that I would recommend anybody to start off with. Um, they are going to get you where you need to go. Uh, now, like I said, we can clear this off. Also, we can pull out this charcoal that we got. And let's make ourselves a couple torches because nobody likes to be in the dark. Bam. And now it's a little bit brighter in here. And uh, that's exactly what we need to do. So yes, this is the early stages of stone block two guys i hope you guys stick with me as we play more stone block two and uh yeah this shouldn't be this shouldn't take too long to uh to go through guys this is actually going to be really fun um i'm going to be on single player here but if you guys want to check out the sub server we are going to be opening up the sub server on friday uh which will be if you guys are watching this video right now um it will be on the fourth i do believe the january 4th and uh, that'll be a good date. Uh, but anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be hopping on there. I'm going to be live streaming that. So like I said, check out twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect, where I'll be playing with the community as we play stone block two. I am super excited to do that. Um, but anyways, guys, man, it's gonna be really fun. Uh, I can't wait to get through this play, play through with you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode 
As always, guys, thanks for watching.